What's cracking, everybody? You know what day it is. Today's a good day. It's full body Friday. And today I'm gonna try something a little different. I'm gonna do a, uh, I'm gonna say something entirely different, but we're gonna do things a little different. Um, hope everybody's had a good week so far. We're gonna end the week right. And the agenda today, as always, per Friday is a full body. I'm already warmed up. Um, we're gonna do some, so I got the bar set up here today. And instead of doing the normal like handstand push-ups, pull-ups, I'm gonna do things with the um, with the straps here. I'm gonna use them as rings and do some movements that way. Do my upper body movements that way. And then the the leg movements are all gonna be um, resistance bands while sitting. I shouldn't say all while sitting, but I'll be sitting on this. I'll just be using more things for this go around. So um, for the upper body, I think there's going to be 11 movements total, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So for the upper body, I'm going to do some, um, we'll just say rings, even though there's no rings on the straps, but we'll say rings just for the continuity. So we're going to do some ring push-ups ring rows, ring tricep extensions, ring hammer curls. That'll be upper body. Um, then we'll switch over to the band station here and we'll do leg extensions, hamstring curls. I'll do some of the leg pulls with the, uh, the pulls with the band. And then what did I, what am I trying to, oh, uh, and then we'll just do some, uh, some like banded squats. That'll be the four movements for the leg. Then we'll do tibia raises, calf raises, and then we'll do some good old hanging leg raises. So like hanging L sits or hanging L raises or hanging leg raises. And that'll be the day. That's the whole day. Um, so like I said, I'm warmed up. The only thing I might have to play with is like my footing if I'm sliding or something when I'm using the, the straps here. But other than that, without further ado, let's get right into it. Gonna start with, uh, <clears throat> like I said, the band. Uh, gonna start with some push-ups and rows. We're gonna do three sets of whatever, maybe four sets, we'll see. I'm going to be aiming for like 15, 20 reps, honestly. So we'll see what we got here. Might take me a minute to get a, my full, full comfort level for reps, but we going to get everything done. We going to get it. It just might take me a little bit to get into place really. All right, let's get the hand placement good here. I really just want to jump right into it. I would have started earlier today, but I had a hectic, hectic morning, you know, hectic ass morning. All right, so just gonna be like your normal type push-ups, but instead we got extra stability um, degree of difficulty here with the bands or with the straps, AKA the rings and we just gonna get right into it. Kick your legs out, get yourself at a comfortable level, rep these boys out full range of motion. One with a chest squeeze at the top. Two. Three. The hardest part for me, four, is uh, trying to find the good, uh, the good stability spot. Here we go. This might be it. Six. Just got to get the angle deeper. So it's challenging, you know, seven, eight, honestly, um, 
trying to stay under tension here, but can't seem to get my grip right. We'll get it right for the next set. We'll, co we'll consider this like a feel out set for the whole workout. Here we go, right here's the spot. All right, we'll just start over. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. That's actually pretty fire for the chest. We don't get a little, little baby rest here. Maybe I'll just try and go right into the, uh, into, um, supersetting it with the rows. I love supersets, clearly. I've been thinking about getting a pair of, um, of rings, and that's a lot of what doing, uh, what today's workout's about to see how how I feel in such a workout if it's worth investing into them I know it will be but you gotta feel it out you know I'm gonna slide this back a little more there we go so I'm not as all in a not having to struggle so much with camera placement slide across the floor against the hardest part. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Clearly, we needed twenty for there. I'm trying to go so I can. I really want to feel the reps, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to cheat myself out of any reps. So if I gotta do extra, we gotta do extra. One of the hard parts about not having actual rings is it's constantly, this whole work, at least I shouldn't say this whole workout, the whole upper body part of this workout it's gonna just be like constant grip strength as well as actually doing the movements. Not that the rings lessen the grip strength, but like hold, just holding a strap it challenges the grip strength a little more. And that's why I've, uh, so I'm wearing gloves. I don't wanna chew my hands up on these straps.
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Readjust my my grip here. A little tighter grip. There we go. Eight. Ooh, almost fell off there. Nine. 10, 11, 12, we'll go back down to 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Didn't quite anticipate how tired my, my grips would get, the grippies would get. I need to, this one makes it almost uh, quick to see how beneficial it would be to get legitimate, uh, legitimate rings, you know? Not that this isn't a legit workout, but man, put that grippy to the test. Grip strength getting after it. Just something different, you know what I'm saying? Mix up the mix up the muscle. Mix up the muscle simulation. One. Full lat stretch at the bottom. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Uh, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. To get that good, good squeeze at the, at the top, good stretch at the bottom. I don't know if you can really tell based off of the angle here, but I'm at a pretty, a pretty good angle when I'm doing these. Not quite sure how well that shows on the camera, but let's hope it shows well. I'm gonna rest my forearms a little bit because they're a little tired from uh, from pulling and pushing. Who would ever thought? We're gonna see how those hanging L sits come in. Hip leg raises coming at the end. My forearms are. A beat.
One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. I'm gonna do ten more since so this will probably yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll base it out if I want to do three or four sets. We're going to see. Might end up doing four for these upper body ones. But I got to also remember that I got two more movements to get through for upper body. So since I did what I do the first couple sets, did I do, did I do 15? So we did two sets, 15, a set of 10, it's 30, 40. We'll do a 10 more here. We'll actually, we'll actually try and do a set of 20 and then that'll leave me at 60 reps total. I'm just trying to have like an even rep count across things if I can, obviously. Might not be guaranteed to be able to do such, but uh, try and keep my rep counts so like, relatively relatively same z across movements one two three four five six Seven, eight, nine, ten. I'll check that message in one second. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, one more, one more, 20, ah, oh, shit, how's it going, Orbital Frame, how you doing today, buddy? Welcome. Welcome to the workout. Sorry, I got to get up all up on my screen to be able to read messages because I don't have my glasses on. So I got to take a little a little jaunt over to be able to read messages. Thank you for dropping by. I hope you're having a great day. Right, let's get one more set of 20 out in the rows and that's the first half of the upper body done let's go one more set of one more set of 20 here if i got it in me i think i got it in me Eight, 
Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Appreciate you. Appreciate the encouragement. Appreciate the encouragement. We can do it indeed. We're getting it. The, uh, what I find pretty enjoyable about why I'm like considering getting an actual set of, uh, an actual set of rings. Um, am I in the USA? Yes, I am in the USA. I'm in the, I'm in the mountain, the mountain ranges of the Rocky Mountains in Colorado. Um, how about yourself? Are you in the USA? Um, but what I was saying, uh, you're from Germany. That's what's up. Welcome. Welcome in from across the, uh, from across the oceans here. It's, I enjoy, it's really cool being able to connect from people from wherever they may be, whatever time it may be from them. It's really dope to be able to connect and chat in that regard. Um, I like the rings because the rings, well, for now it's not the rings, for now it's the, uh, it's the straps, but I like the idea of rings because, um, because on the rings it kind of, you can take off the pressure from like the rest of your body, so when I'm doing like the rows or the push-ups, I can do more isolation on my back or my my shoulders, which is really cool, which is what I, re I really enjoy, the isolation aspect. Um, my bad, I'm sorry about that. There's a, uh, this seems to only happen on Full Body Fridays is the only days that my, my equipment, in this case my phone, wants to not properly abide to the, properly abide to the, uh, the do not disturb so calls still come through and stuff and if a call comes through on the streaming it just ends the stream so that's my bad i apologize um but right back to it let's get right back at it like i never left what i'm trying what i was going for we're going for some tricep extensions here um well, let's just get right into it right into the extensions so I want to find like the length right around my, up around waist level or a little higher, depends on where you're comfy. Get my head in between, then step out, extend. One, two, three, four, five. I'm a little lower on this hand. Let me get my hands better. Here we go. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, want to be able to get, I want to be able to get uh, the angle that I'm getting here for my hammer curls here. <clears throat> so let's make sure I get the proper angle. Again, I'm sorry that I had to restart the stream. It's mad annoying. So you can see the angle's pretty tight here and I'm just gonna... One. Two. Three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, come on, ten. Hope those are in the camera good. Maybe I'll just keep this angle for the tricep kicks and the, or for the extensions and the, uh, and the, the hammer curls. So clearly we've settled on sets of 10 here. We'll do three sets of 10. That'll be it for the upper body portion. One, two, three, four, five. I gotta fix my hands here. This is where getting real rings will come in handy because then I won't be uh, sliding down the, the straps here. What do we have? Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, one more. Ten. Boys are brutal when you get your whole body weight all up in them. Something about having to keep the little bit of extra stability too while you're in the uh, while you're in the bands has a little bit of extra a little bit of extra difficulty going on in there. All right, back to the next set. We got was that second set of tricep extensions? Go into the second set of the hammer curls here. Get that nice angle, lock that core in, one, I'm actually giving myself a little more angle, here we go, two, three, a little more angle, a little bit more difficulty. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more. Them boys get brutal in there. Boys be getting brutal, I'm telling you. So I got one more set of of uh one more set of uh sorry of, of each of these of the tricep extensions and the the hammer curls. Then we'll jump into We'll jump right into legs. Then for legs first, we're gonna do, hmm, maybe I'll do the just straight squat movement first and then we'll do the leg pulls because then I'll be able to easily jump around. For the extensions and the hamstring curls, I'm gonna have to um, move things around a little bit, so. We'll do those as the last of the leg movements. Let's 
get this last set of uh, last set of tricep extensions out. Actually, a little lower than you would even think I would be. Let's come up a little higher. Get like waist. All right. One. Two. Three, come out, we'll ease it up a little bit. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, uh, nine, one more, let's reset for this last one. It gets real once you kick those legs out. Last one. Uh, 10. Triceps ain't looking too bad, nothing crazy, but looking solid. last set of hammer curls and then we're done with the uh done with the upper body portion and that'll be four movements it'll be the rows and the push-ups the curls and the tricep extensions and that'll be a good solid upper body get these curls in one Two, Let's get a little more angle, make it slightly more difficult. We're on, we're on two, this will be three here. Three, four, it's all in that angle, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One more for funsies, for good measure. set up for the leg exercises now I can put the I think this can go back to where it was From here, I'm going to go straight for uh, squats into, can't think of the name of them again, the, uh, the leg pulls. We'll go straight into those. So band here, then I'll lay down, grab the bands, pull them up, pull the bands up on my feet. Just uh, do the opposite movement from a, from a musculature's perspective. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
three. Four, five. Let's see if I can do grab five. Let's see if I can get up here with it. Six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I think we'll go here actually with it. <coughs> to maybe we're gonna go single leg here for the um, for the extra difficulty here uh, so I don't know if you can see because this damn thing's in the way let's move this all right I'm anchored into the door there uh, go find the resistance level my head going to be off camera, but you'll see, uh, you'll see what I mean with the legs. This, your oppo leg stays down as an anchor. We just going to pull up. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15. Go, go switch legs. We'll get the apple leg. I know my head's a little off camera, but my mug's not the most important part for this movement here. The important part is this leg here. So we're going to anchor this one again. Same deal. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15. Alrighty, to the next set. Hoping that I'm in the camera. Let's make sure I don't hit my ass on the wall. One, 
two, three, four, let's get a little wider, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, Fifteen. Getting overhead with the bands uh, ensures I'm not not cheating my posture at all, and it adds a little bit of a uh, extra resistance into the movement itself. Obviously, because I'm stretching out my, uh, I'm stretching out the band. So this is set. That was set two of the squats, set two or three. Now we'll get back into the leg pulls, set two or three as well before we go into leg extensions and hamstring curls. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Let's switch legs up. Let's get that other leg. get this right leg here same deal this leg will anchor you down you could do this with both legs if you want to at the same time I just uh I like the added resistance of doing it with one leg one two three four Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, uh, 14, uh, 15. Don't sleep on those. Those get you real good up in your, your hip flexors and in like your lower, your lower ab. Last set with the overheadies. See if I can push this back a tiny bit more.
hardest part is getting the bands even so you can actually do your workout. One, get my stance a little wider. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, one more for good luck. 60. One more set of leg pulls, and then that's actually uh, halfway through legs. I might not have to move the camera as much as I thought for the second half. Might be able to do it like right here, literally, and just use this door anchor. This leg will anchor you down, and you know the deal. Find your resistance point. And go pull that boy in. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15. Breaking a sweat here with these focus muscle workouts here. Just realizing my socks inside out. One, get a little more resistance. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15. All right, it's halfway done with legs. We're moving on to the, I don't need these no more. We're moving on to the, uh, The last of the movements here for the day. So this whole workout probably have taken like, we'll say a good, uh, a good hour. <sighs> 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 
You know how leg extensions work. I don't have to tell you guys. But for banded leg extensions, maybe, maybe got to talk about these a little bit. So the hardest part is uh, clearly anchoring in if you don't have just an like anchor straps. You got to get your straps around your ankles. Make sure you can safely do this. Um, have your ankle, your anchor in the door. Great. Find your resistance. Stop there. And you could scooch up your seat a little more. Grab hold in the back. Extend out. Really flex at the top. So one, I want this to go a little low around my ankle. I want a little more pull. Two, three, let's uh, get a little more, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Really get that. Make sure you get that good squeeze at the top there. It's, it's crucial. Hamstring curls, you know the deal. You all know the deal. Might do the next set of the leg extensions with, like this, with one leg each. I'm gonna get my, my mug off the camera again. And get my resistance right. One. Two. Scoot it a little bit. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, uh, twelve. I got three more in me. I got three more. 13, 14, 15. Maybe I don't got 15 in me for the next, the next two sets of those. All right, let's get this right leg. Let's get it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, 11, uh, 12, uh, 13, 14, 15.
Let's get the resistance right. Step out, find it. Scoot, scoot forward a little bit. Safely, safely scoot. Always safety first. All right. One. He's right, really just rode up on me there. I don't like the way these are riding up. Hang on. There we go. Maybe this will be better. Let's see what we got. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Safely release yourself too. Just as much as you safely get in there. Let's see if I can do some, uh, get some good resistance while I do both legs at the same time. I'm to get further off camera. No mug on camera this time either. Oh, that's why, that's why you make sure you're secure before you do anything crazy. All right, now, oh man, this one don't want to stay. All right, well, so much for that plan. We'll just go both on one leg since they don't want to stay properly. Why not? I have to scoot in a little bit. One, two, Three, a little more resistance. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We dropped quite a few reps that one. Let's get 10 more off this leg. Let's get it. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ah, ten. Brutal. All right, we got one last set of the extensions and of the of the uh hammy, hammy curls
get my extension right. Perfect. This ought to be perfect right here. Let's get it. Last 10 leg extensions. I don't like the way these ride up on my ankle sometimes. I had no problem at all with that first set. It's all right though. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. I'm actually gonna get a little more resistance. Eight. Nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Next time I do these, if I pull these back out again, these uh, the banded leg extensions, I'm gonna work on how I can get them, uh, can get them on with both bands on one leg. Cause I definitely have the strength to do such. I just don't know if this is a good, uh, you know, like a good seat or bench to be attempting that on. Really, I just don't want to fuck myself up on camera. Or not even injury-wise, I don't want to fall off this thing on camera. That'd be for the highlight reel. For the spoof reel. All right, last set of hammy curls. One, actually gonna come in a little bit. Two. Three. Four, uh, five, six, uh, seven, cramp a little bit, uh, eight, nine, let's get good resistance in this last one, uh, ten, hammies be getting shredded. Last set, last set of the hammy curls. I think we went, we're going well over an hour today. We'll do a uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, five, ten. Don't neglect your hamstrings. I'm gonna grab this yoga block and get a light, light rest. I haven't taken too much rest in between any of uh, my movements here, which is nice. I feel good considering Have a block so I can get full a real good stretch in my calf raises. I'm actually gonna adjust the camera here so I can get my full my full calf in my in the frame here, I think we're good, yeah. Yeah, right there will be perfect.
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, my foot coming off this block, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Now you don't have to use a block for your calf raises at all. Um, but I like to get the full stretch at the bottom and it really helps my calves being able to push through. Um, Y'all know these ones, tibialis raises. I'm just gonna wrap these out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. 22, 23, 24, 25. If you have any knee or shin problems, I implore you to check out the ATG program. I'm not affiliated in any way, but that shit has bulletproofed my knees out. Like I used to have some knee problems for years. I would get knee aches during doing certain things. I'll tell you what, between the, uh, the tibialis raises and the ATG split squats, I didn't do the split squats this exercise or this workout. But if you've been around, follow me, or if you're aware of ATG program or knee over toes guy, one, two, you most certainly have seen the split squat. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, and the, uh, the ATG split squats, man, I'm telling you, them boys will change your knee life. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Right back into the tibialis raises. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Last set of calf raise, tibialis raises. Then we'll do a 
burnout set of some abs. Some leg raises, because why not? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, uh, 15, done with this, this block here. Last set to be Alice raises, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. And that's all she wrote. Let me get these down. Excuse me. I'm gonna just do some knee raises. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, We'll do knee raises, then we'll do something fun for this next one. We'll do three quick sets. Um, I'm gonna go like a knee raise up, then we'll push out into a L sit, come back down, up, out into L sit, legs back down. We'll do that 10 times. Kind of just throwing in an ab killer for funsies. So, make it up as we go along. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, 
Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. A little break, then we'll do one more set of those. We'll call it a day. Anybody play a, well, I don't know if this is still a thing, but way back in the day, I remember like middle school football days, we're talking about like little itty bitty me. We used to do these ab workouts called six inches and you'd be on your back and you'd do like up, spread your legs back together and down and that would be one rep. And I remember being, <laughs> I remember being a, a little kid and thinking those were just the most grueling things ever i hated them other kids hated them more but i still hated them just when you're a little who's really trying to work out when they're when they're real little some kids are but we're just trying to run around and have fun when we're that little and uh i don't know why i'm thinking about that now but it's probably because this movement that i'm doing right now this little ad burnout reminds me of uh the six inches we're going like up kick out back down instead of up spread them together down so it's just a funny movement it's just triggering some uh some deep memories out of me but honestly just as much as my abs feel this my lats and my arms get tired because i was doing the strap things in the beginning that my abs feel this pretty well because I was doing the leg pulls with the bands which gets you in like the lower abs as well in the same way that these are getting me so I'll have to be sure to stretch out my hip flexors and stuff after uh after this workout because we're doing a lot of uh hip flexor strengthening in terms of the style of movement one two Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, <laughs> uh, still at eight. We're not going to count that last rep. No half ass reps here. Only four reps. Two more. Two more. Uh, damn. One more good rep. Let's get it. There it is, man. That's a workout. This was a long one, but that's okay. It's probably one of my longer ones in the books here. Um, it was a good one though, I needed it. I had like a mentally taxing morning, so it was well worth it to get into like a, um, a workout that was long and challenging for different ways not like i'm hitting my whole body part whole body with each workout but really like splitting the parts up um the, today long story short what i'm trying to say is today was good for me mentally and physically i needed this uh needed a harder longer workout so um, that's the friday workout full body friday i hope everybody has a great weekend everybody that dropped in whether you're catching it live on demand or on the upload. I appreciate you. I got mad love for you. Same to everybody that's followed. Following will follow. Mad love. I can't, uh, you know, there's really no expression for what just working out a movement means to me and what it means to have people that want to drop in and participate and hear me out and learn whatever it may be. 
allow me to be a part of their journey just as much as they're a part of mine. And there's a lot of, uh, I have a lot of gratitude for that. So I'm going to leave Friday on that note there. Everybody have a great weekend. I'll see you on Monday. And you know the motto, keep moving for all those that can't. Until next time, mad love to you all. Peace out, everybody. Everybody take care of yourselves.